We brought in seven people in outfits between $10 and $10,000. And these two guessers who will compete to match the price tag to the outfit. Can you guess which of these outfits cost 10 grand? Welcome to First Looks. I'm Ella. And I'm Sierra. We're your hosts on Junebeam. Let's get into it. Bonjour, comment ça va? Hola, comment están? Hola, Vachera. Hello, how are you? My name is Angelina and I'm a model and actor. I'm Paula and I work in social media marketing. I would definitely consider myself a bargain shopper. Clothes are just not that deep to me. Between a luxury shopper and a bargain shopper, I would say I like to get a good bargain on luxury shopping. I'm not sure if I'll be able to identify the cost of an outfit. I think that I'll be able to get pretty close, but these days, who knows? <laughs> When I'm trying to identify something's expensive, I definitely look at the type of material, the weight of the material. I'll also like look at the inseams to see the stitching and those sort of things. The first things I'm gonna be looking at is definitely the shoes, any bags that are coming along with it, and then probably fine jewelry. Also for an expensive like handbag or something, the way it zips up is a huge tell of the cost of the item. So you each have seven price tags with amounts between $10 and $10,000. And these seven strangers in front of you are all wearing an outfit that corresponds with one of those price amounts. And for each match guessed correctly, we will be donating $50 to a charity which y'all chose, which is Dress for Success. Woo! Yes! All right, are you guys ready? Yes! Yay! Yes. Hey. All right, we'll see you on the other side. All right, let's send them in. Oh, the jacket. So I'm looking at some shoes. I'm seeing a couple docks. I'm seeing some tabbies as well. The denim trench on the end, I'm obsessed with. Yeah, <laughs> with the pants. I know, is that a chrome so arts cute. necklace I'm seeing? I don't know. Oh. I'm so curious I know. who they think is the $10,000 outfit and who they think is the $10 outfit because I really feel like out of all of them, the $10 outfit is going to stump them. I know, none of these look like $10. No. None of these look none. like $10. To begin with, I'm looking at these two. I'm noticing there's a lot of brands being covered covered up over here. So I'm gonna give you the 1,000. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you our high end. Also, the nails are really cute. <laughs> you kind of remind me a little bit of my personal style. I definitely have some more funky out of the box pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the 50. That's, I don't agree with that, oh but my God. we're dealing with it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go 100 here just because of some of the material I'm seeing. Also, this looks like an Italian scarf, but it has French writing on it. So that also makes me question because I'm very familiar with scarves of mostly the south of France. She's it like, no big deal. <laughs> very <laughs> scarf of the south of France. I want your life. I'll, I'll go 100. I'm gonna give you 10. Know that you're you're worth infinite. Oh, I love it, you're worth infinite. Maybe I'll give you the higher ends, and then that leaves me here. Yes, Paula, let's yes. go. I'm gonna start with the lovely lady here on the end, and I mean this in the most loving way possible. This outfit is giving 2012 dance moms. <laughs> so that leads me to believe it's definitely on the lower end, although the dance moms moms were not on the lower end. This jacket is fabulous and fantastic. Can yes. you yeah, can I ask her to give me a spin? And also has Mickey Mouse on the back. Oh, Did you see the Mickey wait, Mouse? No, There's like a massive that. Mickey Mouse on the back. Love, oh, yeah. love, love. Thank you. I love it. We'll go with a thousand here. Um, the pleather pants. <laughs> I will say vegan leather pants are expensive. Uh, leather is expensive, vegan leather is expensive. Take the 50 from you, and I'm actually gonna give it. I'm gonna give her the 100. They're matching, Ooh. they both have 100 All now. All right. Can you lift your pants up so I can see? Just the bottom, the top of your shoes. Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> this blazer, we can see the exposed stitching. It's not looking great. <laughs> not you, just the blazer. So I'm gonna go with the $10. I'm gonna go with 5,000. You get the 500, but this outfit is fabulous. Thank you. Fabulous. Now that we've locked in your first matches, here's the twist. We will be eliminating one price point each round. And see if they got it right. Yes. Can the real $50 outfit please step forward? Oh, I shouldn't have switched. I shouldn't have switched. Jody, can you please tell us what you're wearing today? They were both very close. $50, head to toe, Goodwill, um, and some 99 cent store sunglasses. And good one on the scarf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna shake things up a bit again, and you now have the opportunity to ask our lineup one basic question to get to know them a little better and see if that makes you want to rearrange your answers. Okay, so what does everyone do for work? 
I am a bud tender and a stylist assistant. I'm a model and actor. I'm an accountant. I'm a photographer, model, counselor, and student. I work in staffing. I'm an influencer. I do, to a certain extent, think that your wardrobe is influenced by your career. I also think that workplaces have generally become more relaxed, so you're mm -hmm. more free to wear whatever you want. Um, and also, we're not at work, so who so knows if true. that's a red herring. <laughs> so now, guessers, based on this new information, you have a chance to rearrange your matches, starting with Angelina. Thank you. Yeah. All right, she's doing a full swap. Yes. She, Ella, she is wow. switching it up. I, I feel like that really right. told her a lot of she's, information. I'm so sorry, by process of elimination, I'm sticking here. With the, the lack of jewelry and all that, I'm gonna go ahead and assign you the hundred. Can I have you lift your pants a little bit? See the shoes? Oh, it keeps going, it keeps going. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you the thousand. And really? A little bit. So I'm shocked. You think it would be more? I, ten, yeah. I would do 10K. You do 10? I would do 10K. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the 500. So I'm thinking with the tabbies, like you could have spent under 500 with them, which means you technically could have gotten the whole outfit for a thousand. So I'm actually gonna give you the thousand just because I am seeing some pieces here that could bring you to 5,000. And then I'll leave you at 10,000, but I also feel like you could be the 5,000. So. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Paula, do you want to rearrange any of your matches? I do. I definitely want to rearrange re some of mine. Re 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 um, re um, knowing that you're an accountant, $10,000 on an outfit feels a little fiscally irresponsible. <laughs> so I'm going to take, <laughs> take that from you. I hope that my accountant isn't doing that. I don't know if yours is. I feel like this is more. Your hair is dyed very well. Thank you, I appreciate you. <laughs> 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 and a good dye job costs a lot of money. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. The lovely lady on the end here has a lot going on, a lot that I don't understand. <laughs> it's above in me, way. in a good way, in a, in a fabulous way. So I'm gonna give you the 10,000. Is this 100 bucks? Okay. Do you mean to do a little? Yeah, <laughs> turn around, turn around. I'm gonna give you the 100. We'll, we'll do some more workshopping. Now that we have our second round of matches locked in, can the real $100 outfit please step forward? <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> yeah, Paula. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Paula's got $50. Okay, so here's my outfit, y'all. Yes. So actually, you guys were shading the pants. These were actually my most expensive <laughs> pants um, out of this outfit. These were like 37. Okay. These are from Zara, about 30. So these are actually not Doc Martin. They're from Target Boutique, you know, yes. Target, twenty dollars. <laughs> and then these were just to fake you out. They're probably like ten dollars. Oh. Oh my gosh, we love it. <laughs> you now have the opportunity to ask the remaining folks one more question, and this time we can get a little bit more personal. Okay, so what inspires your guys' style? I think first is however I'm feeling that day, and then in terms of like what I'm buying, I like to get pieces that are high quality so that I can get a lot more use out of them. I typically like like the very stereotypical model off-duty look, like Emily Radigowski, Kendall Jenner. To me, that says money. Yeah. I want to like buy pieces that I can wear, you know, on the weekends, but also to work. I like to dress however I'm feeling. Sometimes I want like I want to walk down the street and people look at me but sometimes I want nobody to know that I exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. I feel that. Whatever I want to wear for that day, whether um, depending on the event, if I'm going to be walking for long periods of time, and then in terms of shopping, I do like to shop vintage pieces, unique pieces. I always try to go for the perfect blend of like masculine, feminine, because I want everyone to know that I'm like hot, but I also want them to know that I'm fashionable, but I also want them to know that I like women. So I have to like put all of that together in one outfit every single day. It's a real balance. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> I love it. The gaydar on this. Oh my god. All right, so now based off those answers, you guys have the chance to rearrange your matches. I might switch you guys, or just take this. And I'm gonna give you the 5,000. I can't clock the exact designer that your top is, but I know you got it off Essence. <laughs> the whole fiscally responsible comment, and also you said you just started working. I'm sorry, I'm taking this from you. 
<laughs> We're starting back at square one, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give you the thousands. I don't believe it. Like, I don't agree with any of these answers. I'm putting them down. If you're watching at home, just know I okay. also know I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, we're switching back up. I'm gonna give you the 500. You're, I took this from you, it's back. Um, <laughs> and I don't agree with this. I, I wish I could give you a little more, but that's all I have to work with. And by process of elimination, right back where we started. Paula, no pressure. If you don't want to rearrange, you don't have to. Okay, I think I want to switch you two. Oh, Paula's going in for a switch. Switch these two. I feel like everything that she is wearing is like visibly and like quality-wise expensive. Staffing feels responsible. There were some deals involved. I'm gonna keep you at 10 and I'm gonna put you at five. <laughs> now that we've locked in these matches, can the person wearing the real $10 outfit please step forward? So fit check. Somebody who um, I used to know <laughs> gave me these boots for my birthday. <laughs> this belt, it's a yoga strap. I just didn't want to have just like a big open jacket. I wanted to, mm, yeah. mm. so. Add a little shape. Yeah, add a little shape. So mm -hmm. this cost me nothing. So this is a friend's that I am lending indefinitely. And then yeah, my dress is thrifted. I don't know what brand it is. Probably some type of fast fashion. It's the only thing that I bought in this outfit were the tights and they were three dollars gift from mom and then these earrings are in a target pack that i got for my birthday so, beautiful you. this is a good ten dollars yeah this is a this I is a great $10. try to dress up yeah. the, the ten a little bit we're gonna mix it up i'm just kidding we're not no, no, <laughs> no more mixing no it up. more mixing it up but you get to ask the remaining lineup another question okay so do you guys prefer vintage clothing or new clothing i mean i worked in vintage for years so like i have a love for it, but I'm a big believer in mixing the old with the new. I personally prefer new. I've gone thrifting a couple times, but mostly new clothing. If I were to choose, I'd probably go vintage. I'd probably say new. I know that's probably not the most sustainable answer, but I really love when I get something new, and then it's like Christmas when it gets there. So now, starting with Angelina, does she want to rearrange anything? I think what's confusing me is we have like a new money and an old money moment going on here. <laughs> and like I said, like I, you're down the middle, you're essence body like I, I already know you're on best year you're on all those places I'm definitely comfortable with the 500 5,000 you give me a little bit more of a self-made vibe um, while even though working as accountant not a job I would want to do um, I, I do just based off of hearing you talk feel like you're more used to having pr higher price points with your outfits so I'm gonna keep you at a thousand I think I'm gonna lock this in all right, guys, I honestly, I feel pretty good about this. I don't know. I did read online, though, that real pearl necklaces have knots in between so that if they break, the pearls don't scatter. Could be fake. Could be fake. I read that on Twitter. I don't know. Um, so can I check your necklace? Ooh. <laughs> Nothing in between. Interesting, 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 guys. OK. I think just looking at everything, $10,000 feels appropriate. Yeah, I don't think I want to change anything. All right, now that we're locked in, can our real $1,000 outfit please step forward? I'm ready, I'm ready. <gasps> Yay! Oh, Paula! Yes. $50 to charity! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So the top is Easy Miyake, the pants is Zara, and the shoes are Margiela's. Yes! Oh, oh my god, camel toes! <laughs> camel toes! <laughs> on your feet. Those shoes are so iconic. Thank you so, Thank you so much, much, Sean. You're now down to the final price points. We're gonna let y'all ask one last question and do one last rearranging. But then once that happens, your matches are locked in. You will not be able to change them again. So guys, what is one clothing item you would want to be buried in? Um, I'd probably say my blue fur coat that I have at home. It comes like right to here. That would be iconic. Die in it and be buried in it. <laughs> to be buried in a blue fur coat to the floor. This is just off the top of my head. I just got a new pair of like cargo jeans from Aritzia. Super comfortable, I love them, and I actually wore them here today. And for me, it would be, I have this archive Versace silk blouse from one of his very first collections when all of his status print was black and white before he did the gold. And it's just like billowy and soft and perfect. 
Now, based off of those answers, y'all have the chance to rearrange one last time your matches. So I'm second guessing my 10,000, mostly because of the stitching on the pockets and on the inside of the coat. I'm seeing that there's, it's a little folded, there's a little bit of tension. So that's okay, kind of- Okay, she's rearranging, but not based on her answer. She's yeah. just rearranging by like taking a, fourth, fifth look at the same code. I was gonna say, I feel like Angelina was saving looking at stitching yeah. to the last round, yeah. which is smart. So I guess, I, I don't know how much I believe this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the 10,000 there. I'll stick with you at 500. Paula, Paula, Paula. Paula. I wanna come down here and check out your jewelry again. I wonder if Paula's gonna switch any of her answers. I feel like Paula like doesn't switch as much. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I feel good about her as the 10,000. I feel like you might be like a sneak. See the ring. So we need to do like oh, a spin or something? Yeah, do a spin. I think spin. we need a spin. <laughs> I'm gonna keep things there. Okay. Can the person wearing the real $500 outfit please step forward? Oh, oh my God, both of them got 5K. Angelina and Paula, how are you feeling? Did this shock you? I am pretty surprised. You look more expensive than that. Thank you. In the last round, I was seeing if I wanted to switch the 500 and the 5,000. Um, I ended up not, because I was like, just go with your gut. See where that led me. Trust your gut. <laughs> you can't trust your gut. This denim jacket is from Nasty Gal. Fast fashion. Clock that. You saw it in the stitching. Same thing with the pants. I got them together from Nasty Gal. Um, these bracelets, not at all designer. Um, I literally got this from a coworker before I quit my job. And then I have these earrings. They're from a jury. I think they're like 90 or $100. And the boots are what kind of set it up to $500. They're $250. And then, of course, I have my jewelry. Um, some of them were just gifts from my friends. And then I think like the other two were like 10 or $20. It makes me sad to say that the end is almost here, but can the real $5,000 outfit please step forward? <laughs> That's me. So I intentionally made it difficult and nothing that I'm wearing was like fully gifted to me. Things that I got like on sale, but I tried to stay away because I do have so many like crazy pieces. But when I spend my money on like higher end stuff, I do kind of go for more basics that I can like wear with a lot, like a white Prada bag that is in need of a deep clean. And she should be whiter than this. Um, but the skirt is Chloe. The shoes are Jimmy Choo. The top is Anna Sui. And then this is vintage. It's from the 80s. All my jewelry is, it's all real, but my grandma worked in jewelry. Yes, so. I love this outfit that she has on. It's really giving me like Vivian Westwood meets with like, I don't know, Moschino or something. I'm getting like a playful Jeremy Scott kind of vibe in there. The last moment you've been waiting for. Our $10,000 outfit! Yes! <laughs> The little fit check, my loafers are from Dior. These pants are rag and bone. This belt is a Celine belt. This shirt is actually a Dior shirt. This jacket is Tom Brown. And this bag is also a Celine bag. Angelina, Paula, like, what are you feeling right now? Poor. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't dress like this, all designer pieces on a daily basis. Um, but I do think, like you guys said, like the fit is really different. And I can tell that there are just pieces of clothing that were like handmade. And so I think I just like feeling that quality. It's true, the stitching, yeah. the stitching and like the materials used. It's Absolutely. And that's a wrap on our matches for first. Woo! Oh. You guys killed it. Yeah. You did such a good job. We were back there like shook at some of some of the rearranges that you <laughs> If you're watching at home, just know I also know I'm wrong. Because you both got collectively six matches, correct? We're gonna be donating $300 to Dress for Success. Yay! Yay! It is fake money, but the real money will be donated to Dress for Success. On your behalf. Do you feel like first assumptions or at first look, you were able to like get to know someone or did you have to really dig a little deeper? I do think that there is kind of a ceiling on when you can tell. And also I feel like this is just a testament to it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to look good. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Thanks so much for watching June Beam. Let us know in the comments what you think of this episode and what you want to see next. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>
These are a gender neutral brand Egg House Latte. And this is not thrifted, but I love that it looks thrifted and that's why I got it because it feels like a cozy. Where's it, where's it from? I, I don't remember. My pants were in clearance because I'm a clearance girly. My top was also clearance, $10. This I beaded myself. Look, I have a beaded one oh, too. Oh, cute! Matching. 